Hello guys, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. Recently I captured the Green Comet ZTF using a small and affordable smart telescope, the Dwarf 2. If you are interested in the Dwarf 2 telescope, I did share also a link in the description. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to make fast a Comet time-lapse video using a free software named Serial. This tutorial will be good even if you are using other cameras to capture images for a video timelapse. I did open Serial and I will start by using the conversion tab. And I will convert all the TIFF images with the Comet and also the dark frames to be able to remove the hot pixels from the resulting timelapse video. I will start with the dark frames. I will add them in the conversion tab name the files and convert them into feeds. After, I will use the new dark feeds files and I will go to the stacking tab where I will stack them into a master dark frame that we will use to calibrate our images and remove the existing hot pixels. I used methods average stacking with rejection, normalization additive with scaling, rejection, winsorized, sigma clipping. We can also rename the stack file if we want to. After this, you'll uh, start stacking the images. Once we have our master dark, I will go back in the conversion tab and convert also the normal fits files with the comet into fit. If you do not have any dark frames, you will just convert these files. Now we can move on and make the time-lapse video we will use the new fits files that are also saved in serial as a sequence. Optional, we can select also normalize images if you have gradients, let's say, from the moon. Now we will move at the pre-processing tab and I will use the master dark file that I obtained by stacking the dark frames and I will select now the bearing option. Very important to select the bearing only in this part of the processing. If not, Serial will not remove the hot pixels from the timelapse. Next, I will select the output that will be a SER sequence. And after, start processing. To be able to access the file, download and install SER player. And this is also a free software. I will open now the timelapse in SER player. However, it looks very dark. And to make it brighter, I will go in processing and adjust the gain in gamma settings. Gain, let's say two, and adjust the gamma depending how bright I do want the background to be. After, I will go and save in a new cell file that I can save after in AVI. And from AVI, I can convert in MP4 using Movie Maker Video Converter. And this is all you need to do to be able to make an astrophotography comet time-lapse video using Serial. If you want also to process more the time-lapse video before creating the SER file, to make it brighter and with better contrast, we can apply a curve stretch to our comet sequence that was saved by Serial. And then we will go again at processing and save the stretch images into a SER video time-lapse. Here we have a comparison of the new time-lapse with the curve stretch applied and the first one. I like that the comet looks brighter, we have darker background, however, we have also more visible noise. In case we do have some hot pixels left, we can go in serial and here at pre-processing, we can change hot sigma, let's say from 3, we can go with 2 and it will remove more hot pixels here we can estimate and see 2207 and then go again start processing and here it is my final time-lapse video with the comet zf using 300 images that i took with the dwarf 2 smart telescope and i processed using serial and ser player if you want to learn more also about comet stacking you can check also my comet tutorials I hope you find this video useful and until next time, clear sky and happy comet hunting.